Hi, yes. Actually, same day I just shot our video. And um, I just want to show you all the stuff that I have recycled, all the clothing I've recycled. And I took a little break for a little while because I was trying to eat me some dinner. And I got a little cold, so I had to put a jacket on. And I want to show you this shirt. This is actually a dress that I have on. It's a little short dress, but I don't wear it as a uh, dress. I put leggings under it. I won't wear it like just my legs because it's like really, really short. So I want to show you this. I love this shirt dress. It got pockets on the side like right here. I brought it and it was a dress. But it, it would be way too short for me to wear. You said short it is, how much thigh would be showing. But I wear it, uh, I wear like a a, sh a dress over a shirt, like a long shirt top. That's how I normally wear it. It's long sleeves. This is the same thing I had on before, but I actually love this. I want to actually make uh, a denim shirt dress uh, like this. So I got a little cold, like I said. So I, um, I have the heat on like 74, but that's cold for me. I, I usually have it like on 88 here. <laughs> Because this back room, I like it to be like toasty and stuff, but I'm okay. I'm not like freezing. I just got a little chilled. But anyway, this big pile right here is all the stuff I took apart. Uh, got upcycle all this stuff here, and I have the denim back here. So that table over there is the stuff that like. Oh, um, let me let me swing this around so I can show you. Sorry if I made you dizzy. So this table over here is like all the stuff that I'm going to be like tops. Like I didn't cut it totally apart and made fabric out of it. Like this was like a, a half a back T-shirt and the back was a half a back i just wanted the front of this and i'm gonna make a full t-shirt a two-tone t-shirt uh this yes distress and this was the other part to it so this was one i gotta take all this stuff and put on that table so this was all the stuff on this table that i knew that i was going to keep like certain parts of it uh for a garment um not the whole thing but maybe the top and the bottom like this was a uh, skirt, an asymmetrical skirt, and I'm going to make a top from this. I like the bottom. I cut the, the I cut the belt, the, the band off of it, and I cut the lining off of it. It ripped, so that's why I took it out of my closet because I never was going to fix it. I don't know if you can see the grip, but I might keep it like a little tattered anyway. I don't know if I'm going to keep that tattered because it's sheer. No, I'm going to keep the tattered. I don't know if you can see that hole right there. It was a hole. You see? You see? So I probably cut that part off of it. I ain't going to keep that. Cut that part off of it. And this will be the, the top part of the skirt, uh, of the top, like a halter top or whatever. So, and I'll probably make a separate belt or something, or a hairband from this. I don't know. So, because I love the gold. So, that's what I'm doing with that. And, um, let me see. Let me show you. This was top. And I'll probably make a whole dress from this. I have some other civil material to make a whole but what um, I wanted to do, she I just what I, I haven't had a bonus is, top, um, a lot but I wanted to make it a little bigger, so um, I'm going to keep that. Down this uh, was a shirt. This was a shirt. <laughs> I'm probably, I think I got some so other fabric I like this, and I'm going to make a full uh, knitted dress from this. Okay? Always make the Let me turn on this uh, computer for a minute because I'm talking over it. Hold on. Hold on. It actually like oh, on. Up. So oh, I'm to the down the Okay. I'm like talking over the TV of the uh, not the TV but the computer because I like to watch other tutorials, people tutorials. These are all little straps that I took off. Uh let me see, I could bring you closer, right? Can I bring you closer? You think I can? Okay. As long as I'm staying on the table. Okay, this is a this is a really big this is a 
a real cutting table. My other tables are tables that are made into cutting tables, but this is actually meant to be a cutting table. Um, okay, but these are the little straps that I'm going to use. This was the bottom. This little puffy balloon wishing thing was the bottom of a... I never wore this dress. Okay, I bought it and I supposed to did a photo shoot in it with my grandbaby and I did not do it. I bought her a matching dress when she was a baby. Just didn't even get around to wearing it. Matter of fact, I just wanted the bottom of it. Here's the top of that dress. Oops, upside down. Here's the top of it. This was the top of it and it had a little bow and stuff with it. Let me show you. A little bow with it. I didn't even wear it. I'm going to use it for something else. Seriously. So, this was one. You're going to see all this stuff. This is not something that I'm going to be making and keeping for myself. This is stuff I'm going to remake. This is part of my uh, upcycle line. So, I'm putting all this stuff together. And then I took a sweat top that I had. That I'm going to just uh, distress. I'm going to make it into a jacket. I'm going to make this sweat top into a jacket. And use the bottom band. And make it to like a little short crop bolero type of sweat jacket. I'm going to use the arms to make a hoodie. These was the arms so it's going to be sleeveless. And it's going to be a hoodie. That's going to be fun doing. I might do that right away. So I probably should note, put a little note on all this stuff what I'm going to do. And I can't even tell you where the paper is at to put little notes on this. So I probably should because I will not remember what I was going to do with each one of these uh, items. So hold on one second. Let me get a pen and some little note paper. Okay? Hold on. 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 Okay. Okay. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Here I go. So this is going to be the jacket because a lot of times if I do stuff like this and when I get to it, I don't even remember what I was going to do to it. I'm trying to focus on my upcycle line and not... I do want to show you the stuff that I made four items from that Walmart fabric. Remember the Walmart haul? I made four or five items from that fabric. And I still got two more items that I'm going to make to finish with some of that uh, Walmart line. So I, I'm doing a lot of stuff now. So with this is going to be the uh, barrel, barrel, the short, <laughs> the um, the little short cropped hoodie. If I couldn't say barrel or whatever, I couldn't say that word. Um, but anyway, it's going to be the crop short hoodie. So I'm going to put hoodie on this. Let me reach over here. Sorry, I'm gonna get my. Um, stick pins so I can know what I'm going to make from this because I'm telling you I get sometimes I get kind of full of zeal and I don't even know what I'm going to do I got the fabric that I'm going to add with this that I've been having forever to make a full I'm going to make a dress from this I know he's like it's some other fabric I'm adding to it it's blue and get roses on it and the top going to be a solid red and it's going to be like a uh, I think that's some lining or I might make it for just a um uh, uh cover up a beach cover up a swimsuit cover up that's what this might be so I'm going to say uh, dress top of dress okay because I won't know why well, I have the idea in my head right now instead of me trying to think about it later on I already know exactly what I'm going to do uh, this is going to be a top I have to find, I'm, I'll probably make the bonnet top myself. And this is going to be the top of the uh, the dress. Like a, I got one online that I made, but it's all, it's in the shop. I took that rack. I wish I would have uh, kept that rack in here because it's similar from a dress that I upcycle. And I took the bottom of a skirt and it's a, uh, like you can wear it as a top or you can wear it as a little tiny mini skirt. Uh, a mini dress but it looks it's short enough to wear as a actually as a top I mean some people I did make a similar one like that for a customer and you know 
Turned out. I, I didn't uh, upcycle, made a, took a pump skirt and then just made the top. I just made everything with ruffles and everything on it. So this is the bottom of a bottom of a top. Make bonnets. Okay. All right, that's what I'm going to do with this. Then this is what I do when I know I'm up. I haven't upcycled anything in a long, 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 long time. Uh, this will be the top to a sheep dress, like I told you. This is going to be the top to a sheep dress. Uh, this was a top already, so but I took the took it loose. So I'm going to write top to sheep dress. Top to sheep dress. Okay, that's what I'm gonna get with this one. And let's see. Oh, let's see what else I got. Mm. <clears throat> I didn't write what I was gonna do with this one. This was gonna be um, a two-tone t-shirt. I'm gonna I might just uh shred the back. Uh I think I got some gray fabric over there that I can shred the back and or make it white. I might have some more white make what I'm white and gray uh t-shirt uh different color back okay um because I like to do this all the time I don't do it all the time that's why some some things don't get done because I forget what I was gonna do with them okay now this I think I'm off. Uh, I know this was the bottom of it. I might just make this a top and make it a uh, peplum. Put a peplum with a high low peplum at the uh, bottom. That's what I probably do with this. Make a high low pe peplum. And put the zipper, put a zipper back in the back. Make a full zipper all the way down to the peplum. So it'll be a tight fitted uh, high low peplum. Uh, and I'll put top of peplum. Of peplum. Add it. To bottom. And I'll put high low. High low. Okay. Um, that's for that one. So I got a lot more stuff that I'm doing here. Oh, uh, let's see. This, I think I'm going to do the same with this. I'm going to do a high-low peplum. But this one I also. I like the uh, top of it. Got the ruching on the sleeves. So I'll do a high-low peplum with this one also. So, uh, high-low peplum. Bottom. Okay, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get all this stuff right, uh, and uh, because I'm telling you, uh, when I start thinking about all the stuff I had to do, it was overwhelming for that fashion show. But like I said, I like I was saying for my other video, I'll make a decision. Uh, this was cut off from uh, a. Um, one of my overalls. I'm gonna make a little girl overalls. I've tried this on my, my grandbaby, and I'm, I'm gonna use this top to make little girl overalls. So, either it's gonna be a dress overalls. I might do a dress because I like doing dresses more on little girls than uh, pants. You know, I got a lot of pants too, but I, I kind of make the pants and the top so you can wear the pants separate from the top, and the top of the boy is a dress by itself. So, this is gonna be made with a dress at the bottom. Not denim. I'll probably use a different type of fabric. The top will be denim and the other bottom will be something else. So, I'm going to... She loved Mickey Mouse. So, she was like, ooh, Mickey Mouse, Nina. So, I'm going to say little girl uh, dress. That I'm making for that one, right? Okay. Trying to get this party started now. Okay. Now, this is... I cut this off the top. 
of a full circle skirt this was like one of my pretty i love 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 this dress so much but it got too small the top it always was kind of like tight but when i gain weight it gets tighter and then one day i was putting it on because i was trying i said i'm gonna wear it i'm gonna wear a cute little bolero bolero that's what i was saying trying to say before and i could say bolero uh bolero with it and you know it's just the zipper kind of ripped and that that was all she broke so this is going to be another peplum top right uh high low peplum top added to it i don't know fabric i'm going to look at my fabric stash and see what well, i do got some yellow i might pull out the yellow and have a bottom yellow don't know but we're going to work it out right high low peplum which i love high low peplum add it my writing is horrible when i'm trying to hurry up because i'm all get my creative juices going you know get the mojo going the creative mojo going uh i think i'm gonna do this as a sheath dress but i'm gonna probably make the bottom black or white no i think i'm quite the black the black on this and add up because this was a blouse this is a blouse so i'm gonna make it a full dress I might have to buy some uh, fabric because this is some really soft, wonderful feeling fabric. So we're gonna see. So sheath dress, dress. I'll just put sheath dress on this tag because I know exactly what I'm gonna do with it. Oh, that's all I have to do. A sheath dress. Okay. Uh, of course, a, another high low peplum added to this top. This was like a little, it was a little top. And I cut the bottom off and I wanted to make a high low, I'm a, I am going to make a high low peplum with this. With that top part. Okay, high low peplum. Okay. I'm almost getting done. I know. I just, you know, trying to let you guys know what I'm going to be doing. I right, cut some pockets off some pants. So, I like to keep my pockets because I use them on purses. Mm -hmm. And this was another top that was cut off this formal dress that I brought. Never worn. Never worn. Uh, I bought it for a wedding. And I cut the zipper out of it. And it was the top for a dress. So, I don't know what I'm going to do with this top yet. Because I don't want to add the other, the bottom. The bottom is going to be something totally different. So I actually, at first I was thinking about making a swimsuit. Cut the this off of it and making a swimsuit top. But I don't know yet. So I'm going to put this in. I don't know how for now. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, pile. So far I got the flow of it. Uh, I cut the bottom off this. And... I don't know if I got any fabric that's going to coordinate with this top, but it, I want it to be a dress. I, I, I wish I could pull out like this burgundy and make it a maxi dress or something, but I don't know. I'm going to put it over here. But I don't know what I'm going to do with it, Kyle. So far, I only got two. Um, this, the, the bottom of this, I like uh, the thought of making this a longer skirt, just a skirt by itself. And I have this, you know, something that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to make it a skirt. I'm going to make the waistband, a uh, uh, high-waisted waistband, and make it like a balloon skirt. I have a balloon skirt that's like this, but it's red, and it's um, like a tie-dye, and it's silk. And I wore it like a few times when I worked for the modeling agency. And their colors was red, white, red, white, and black. And I have a lot of red, white, and black clothing. I didn't realize that until... That's the color we always had to wear every time we had a meeting, we had a, a model search or something. We always had to have red, white, and black. And I had like, oh my God, I had, it seemed like 20 or 30 items in my wardrobe that I could mix and match that was red, white, and black. And I was like, I guess I like red, white, and black. So I'm going to make this a high-waisted skirt, right? It's going to be cute. So, okay. High-waisted skirt waist skirt that was easy because at first i was going to put that in the, i don't know what i'm going to do with it pile but i know what i'm going to do with it right 
Can I turn it around, please? This is going to go into, I don't know what I'm going to do with power. This was the top of that skirt, the one I just showed you. That I'm going to make, that was the top of it. This was another, I used to have a lot of evening dresses that I had, um, I used to go to balls all the time. My, my church uh, had a lot of balls. Uh, and I used to go to a lot of them and I had all these evening dresses that I only wore like one time. I used to have to have a different evening dress every time I went to one. So I had like a wardrobe of just those type of dresses, you know, bridal type of dresses and stuff like that. And this was one of them. This was one of them. I cut it off. I cut it off. It was a full maxi length dress that kind of flared out and it was silk. Wore it one time. One time. So, um, I don't know. If I'm going to keep it as a top. But I did want the bottom of it. Because I'm going to dye it. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to keep that. Because I do want it to be a little cute top. So I might make a peplum top out of that. But I don't know. So it's going to go. And I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Pile yet. Uh, this. That cut off that brown skirt. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. Pile. Oh and this is another one. This came with a, a sheer. A long, this is a maxi dress. This one I was a size eight, <laughs> and uh, came with a uh, like a sheer beaded maxi dress. Like I said, I used to have a lot of events at my church, and I had all these evening dresses. And I cut the bottom off of it, and um, I took it out of my closet because I'm looking like Chris. Really, you are never ever going to be a size eight ever again. No time this, no time soon. So just stop holding on to it. The top I could fit because I bought the top in a large. You know, because I all I have long arms, so I used to always have to buy my tops in a size in a large, even when I was a size eight and a size ten, and I just did. So this is gonna go into I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet, pile. This might be one of them high low peplum tops. Don't know. Take all the little pieces that I cut off, the belts and stuff, the waistbands. It's gonna go into that pile. And oh, I was gonna make a. Uh, swimsuit top off of it. This was a top that I had and the other pieces over there. But this is going to go in. I don't know what I'm going to do with a pile uh, of pieces. So all that's over here. And now I have a pile of stuff that this pile, pile of stuff that I know what I'm going to do with it when, I, when I'm ready for it. So I'm trying to keep all my stuff. I'm trying to keep everything that I'm going to be doing in order so when i'm finished doing one thing i said okay now i can work on the upcycle clothing that i know what i'm going to make from okay so i just wanted to shoot another quick video on, of the upcycle clothing that i'm going to be working on and I'll, I'll show you what i'm going to do with the jeans i could walk over there and show you how to but i just took each panel of the jeans apart what i'm going to do with the jeans is i'm actually going to you stress each leg and splash paint on it, bleach on it, do whatever I want to do, do some funky uh, doodles on it and stuff, and then sew the panels together. That's what I'm going to do. Um, and then that's it. That's all with, with those. I mean, that's going to be a little more creative doing that than doing this part. Um, so that's about it. This is, video is kind of long. So um, same day. This is still the, what day is it? It's, to the 19th. I mean, so I don't know what time it is. Let me grab my phone. Okay. Oops. It is 10:22 p.m. and it's still the 19th. This was just a part two video because sometimes it's a long time before I shoot a video out to you guys. So I'm doing two back to back today. Okay. I did the first one was on my phone and this one's on my tablet. So thank you guys for watching. And I'll talk to you soon. And those of you who have not subscribed to me, just don't watch. Subscribe, please. And I'll talk to you soon. God bless. Bye-bye.